Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about On Summer by George Moses Horton. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, On Summer by George Moses Horton is a very uh, interesting uh, poem. It's, it's very fascinating. Um, this, it's all about summer, you know. Um, George Moses Horton, he brings in the temperature of summer, the thunderstorms, the, the bright colors, the, the bright um, scenery of summer. Um, he makes it come to life with the sounds of summer, uh, the way that different animals from bees to birds um, to all the creatures of summer, how they uh, come out, uh, how they, you know, have kids, you know, you know, birds with their, their babies hatching, um, and bees hard at work protecting, um, producing um, honey and um, doing everything that they need to survive. And when you think about the summertime and how active nature is, ants and their ant colonies moving and constructing and uh, producing and, and making sure that uh, their posterity goes on and the same that goes for bees, the same that goes for birds, the same that goes for all the animals of nature, and this is kind of like a call to these animals to come out and um, to to do what they're supposed to do. And it, there's a warning within the poem to children to, to be careful because although summer is warm and inviting and the months are bright or warm and everything, uh, there's a warning for children to be careful because, yes, this all looks wonderful and, and beautiful and amazing, but also there are some horrors in summer. There are some, you know, if... if for the children, if you go out or out and, and, and you're playing uh, with certain animals, you can get stung in, in the case of a bee. You can get hurt. Um, the summer can be very fun. You can do things like go swimming and enjoy summer, enjoy the colors, enjoy the temperatures, um, you know, and, um, and enjoy the temperatures. And, um, you know, you can get hurt while doing that. So there's a warning. It, I mean... George Moses Horton produces a beautiful scene of, of wonderful things and the pleasures of summer, the joys of summer, and, and the productivity. I mean, usually people think that it's only the city that's all about it, industriousness, factories, industry, money. Uh, but nature itself is quite industrious. The, way, the work of the bees, the work of, of butterflies, the work of ants, the work of birds to hunt, to feed, to make sure that their children get food, to take care of their children, and to produce, and to reproduce, and um, all of that, the animals are, are very much, you know, as soon, you know, think about it, as soon as, you know, the sunrise, birds are hard at work trying to find food, trying to feed their young, um, as soon as the sunrise, you know, bees, ants, all animals are trying to find food, trying to make it to the next day, so there's this hustle and bustle that exists in nature, and George Moses is in here, he really develops that for us and paints a picture for us of a vast wilderness of nature that's, that's hustle and bustle. And every animal is just trying to make it along and trying to reproduce, trying to get food. Um, and he, he, you know, you kind of feel the sounds of nature, the feelings of nature, the mood of nature, the temperature of nature through this poem. And also, it's not just, you know, gumdrops and rainbows. Within, within this poem, you get a sense, this warning for the children that you got to be careful because out here, other things can happen. And, and truly, that, that's the center, that's the core of the poem, the hustle and bustle of nature, um, the way it comes in. It, it, you know, at first, it's, it's, you know, we just wait for the months to come in. But as soon as it's here, you know, the bright colors, the, the temperatures, the, the paths of nature, they're all set into motion and you have to be aware. It's not simple and um, yeah, you just have to go at it um, and and enjoy it, but also be careful because, um, you know, within nature, in terms of deeper meaning here, in terms of analysis, it's not all, it's not all just pleasant, uh, especially for the kids. You can get hurt. Um, you can, um, you know, face some consequences. Uh, so really, he paints, George Moses Gordon here, he paints a picture of all the aspects of nature, from the beauty of it, to the, the robustness of it, to the industry of it, to the organization of it, and also to the horrors and, and, and um, um, the punishments of nature when you do things to animals and when you do things 
uh, that can cost you in terms of dying, getting hurt, or, or finding pain. Uh, when you when like children would antagonize any animals or, or get involved in nature in a way that puts their life at risk or, or brings about injury. Um, so, it, you know, this makes you definitely think about that. Uh, but it also tells you to be very cautious around around nature. It's not it's not all fun to, fun and ga games. Um, so, yeah, that's the poem. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.